Yeah. Hello. It's been too long. It really it's hasn't. Far and wide for you. It really has not been too long. It has been so very, very long that I must tell you this story. Okay. A story of how things came to be. Do you actually? You have to. Yes. Yes, it's an imperative to what comes next. Okay. At the beginning, there was early potential. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a moment came when the creator and the void split, and time began, and I was there to witness it all uh-huh. at the beginning. Sure. I was there at the beginning. Of what? This. This. Everything. What did it look like? Well, a bit. Fizzy. What kind of fizzy? You know, sherbet here. Yeah. Do you like sherbet? Yeah, it's not too often that I have it, but. I'm not that. You should enjoy sherbet more often while you can, Daniel. I feel like sherbet was a lot more popular, like, uh, in the past. Daniel! Daniel is! Jesus! Fuck! I don't think you understand the gravity of the situation. I'm explaining to you how everything came to be. You are an astrophysics student, are you not? I try to be. Take this information, Daniel, and spread it to the masses. It is the new word of Genesis. I've spoken... You really? Yes. Well, uh... How can you consider it, I guess? You best. Would you like a... a beer of any kind? What do you got? I have... Pilsner. Stout. Bitter. Uh... Some sort of black liquid. Um, I have a Pilsner with, with dye and a bitter with dye. Blue, red, green, yellow. Mixes of those, sort of purple. Uh, where, uh, maroon. Bitter. You said bitter. Uh, well, do any of those take me fancy? Well, I said you mentioned bitter, yeah. Could go a little bitter. With dye or without? With dye. With dye, what kind of color dye? Actually, no, without dye. Without dye? Well, look, I got a bit excited with the bitter, and I put dye in most of them. <laughs> and I can't tell which don't have yellow dye and which do. You see the issue here? Especially with the darker one. Why just yellow? Well, I was going to mix it with red and make a darker orange bitter. Okay. And I did that with most of them. And I can't really tell them apart with the ones that I didn't because they are quite dark. I must admit. You see the issue? Do you have a Green dyed Guinness? Um, well, yeah, I do. I'll have a pint of that. Look, there's a quite angry leprechaun that guards that. Do you if you insist, I will get it. you insist? Yes. Uh, okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. Um, just give me a moment. Patrick? Wash your eyes. Would you mind terribly if I got past you and got past you? You touch. Look, I think it's a bit of a no on that one, sir. Um, 
Can I interest you in a dark orange bitter? Hmm. Well, I had some dark orange bitter last night, so... I don't know, I was really... Where the fuck did you get to dark orange bitter? I thought it was an explicitly here thing. It's new to me. I based my entire business model around this whole concept. It was at a... Edward's Tavern. Edward? Yeah. Edward what? I assume it's... Is there an actual Edward, or is it one of those stupid fucking... Yeah. This is Edward's Tavern, and I'm Mike, the manager and owner. No, I believe his, uh, his name was Edward Leafley. Ah. Address the... And uh, it was pretty good, man. Address of this Edward Leafley... Oh, he's on the uh, corner of uh, South Haberbrook Street. And, uh, okay, well, uh, and Williams. I, hang on, I think I hear a phone calling me specific. Is it in the horse frequency? Yeah! Yep. Yeah. It rings in the horse frequency? Yeah, it does. Is yes, it? it does. You're a fucker. You know, that's why I'm thinking. What I'm thinking about is that question. And I don't think I do. Well, I need you on this, Daniel. And based off our experience today, you can decide whether or not you will decide to trust me. Okay, well, I mean, I just want a beer. Look. I will get you a barrel as soon as you help me with this. All right, yeah, cool, all right. Is that a knife? That I hear a knife in your mouth? No. All right, so you want me to take this knife? And... I mean, looks like you're pretty capable with it right now. I mean, why do you... I don't really need a knife in my life right now. Thank you. So, I need you to take that and hide it. I cleaned it thoroughly. For no reason. Yeah. And, um, if anyone asks about Miss Leafly, you never mentioned him to me, and I am not aware of him, and you are not aware of me. So, let's go through what you would say if, hypothetically, someone came to the door and said, have you met a horse? Well, I mean, is this going to be, like, a police thing? Yeah, look, this is all hypothetical, but yes, hypothetically. So, are you hypothetically asking me to lie to the police? Look, hypothetically, there is a horse that you hypothetically met. And hypothetically, the police will hypothetically come to the door and hypothetically ask, have you met a horse and what is his name? If well, said horse hypothetically exists. Understand? Okay, but in this universe yeah. of the hypothetical that we're talking about, do horses hypothetically exist? Well, yes. It's hypothetically this one. So hypothetically, in this world, if, say, there were a clown full of horses... A clown full of horses. Yes, go on. 
clown full of horses. <laughs> uh, would that clown also be a horse? It's a container of jelly bean, if it has jelly beans in it. Does the container look like a jelly bean? Look, it's not a fucking jelly bean, Daniel. It's hypothetically... Hypothetically, though. Hypothetically, the policeman's a jelly bean. Wait, I don't think I know what this word hypothetically means. Maybe, perhaps. Imagine that in a situation in your brain is happening. So, hypothetically. Hypothetically. Okay. Hypothetically, is that there is a hypo- look, damn it! Hypothetically, there is a policeman at the door. He says, "Have you met a horse?" No. Good. Have you heard of any horses nearby? Well, with that question, the how horse. how and prolific how prolific have you been in the neighborhood? I'm a because I'm if, a well if, I've, if I've everyone, all the if everyone's seen you, and I'm the only one who says no, then that's even more suspicious. Or am I? Are you, wait, look, Daniel, how much, how much do you get out? Would I have seen you at Reds? Uh, no, nah, probably not. Okay, well then, Daniel, I think we're safe. I spend most of my time at Reds. I guess we are safe then. Okay, so Daniel, I am a policeman. Have you oh, shit. seen a horse? Well, no. No. Uh, well, right now, yes. I have seen a horse, officer. Because you were clearly a horse. But, no. Hypothetically, I think. Okay. I think. Well, then, hypothetically, good death. Okay, I think that went well. I think you could have convinced them that you will never met me. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little bit... So, hy- hypothetically, though, yes. if the police had come... Yes. And they had... If they were riding horses... Yes. Do I then say... Yes now, but no, in general? I think they may be a little specific and say it is a talking horse. Okay, okay. Because there are... Because horses... I've seen horses. I've seen a hell of a lot of horses. I've seen plenty of horses in my day. Let's just get one thing straight. Okay. But, Dak, how many talking fucking horses have you met in your day? Grand as your day may be. Well, there was this one time I saw a singing muskrat. But I... Daniel! Yeah, no, 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 no horses. I'm not a muskrat. Do I look like a muskrat? I'm a proud and noble stallion. Yes, you are. Look, Daniel... You've worked me up mightily, and I must get you good day. But I ask you, if any policeman, hypothetical or otherwise, were to come to the door, you never saw me, and you never spoke to me of Mr. Lately. <laughs> <laughs>